What is up everybody, this is uh, iCustomize and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys how to add cell render onto a 3D text or 3D logo and not a whole lot of people know what cell render is but basically it's like where it has a whole lot of lines around the edges and inside the actual text and that's a really nice effect so I'm going to go ahead and teach you guys how to do that. So now what you need to do is go ahead and make your 3D text or import your logo or whatever. But in this case, I have a logo that I'm going to import. So now what you need to do is after you get it lined up to where like you like it, just go into your render settings and go to output and make it 1280 by 720. Now change your resolution to 300 go to save now save this to your desktop and I'm gonna go ahead and save it as logo basically just save it to where you can find it easily and your format make it PNG and now click alpha channel if you don't click alpha channel you're gonna have a background with it so if you click alpha channel it'll basically just render out your text or just your logo or whatever so now what you need to do is go to effect and click ambient occlusion global illumination and lens effects and you can just go through these and see if everything's right and now just you're gonna have to reshape it up and get everything the way to the way you like it so now just render that out and I will be back when it's done alright everybody I'm back now and now that it's rendered yours might look like this if you have a light room in there but I have a light room so it has the shadows and like the colors look even so I highly suggest using a Lightroom while doing this or for any you know Cinema 4D project so now that you've done that go back into your render settings and just add a 1 to the end of that and just click out of that and now uncheck these three and now go to effect and type in or not type in click cell renderer and now just check edges and basically what you need to do now is reverse these colors make edge color white and background color black so sorry somebody's calling me sorry about that now your background color just put that onto black alright now you need to just re-render it and you'll get these really sick looking lines and it makes you know your projects look amazing so now that you've done that you know just import your logo or text into Photoshop so let me find those and just highlight both of them and click open now go to your first one not your cell render go to your first one and just drag that onto your project so if you're making a background or whatever just drag it onto there now drag your cell render over to that and basically just overlay it so now that you've done that just click some people think you need to click overlay but it messes with the colors like see how it's blue and then that's white and stuff you need to click screen and if you don't want to do anything with this you can just right click and click merge down so this is just one thing so that's basically it guys so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you did please drop a like and if you want some more tutorials from me please subscribe so I'll talk to you guys later